Hello again, welcome back to The Witcher 3. Thank you so much for joining me. Where the heck are we? <laughs> it's been a couple days since I played. Um, we are where? Over here. What we're going to do in this episode is uh, we're going to run up and um, we're going to talk to Dijkstra. See if he has anything new that he wants to talk to us about. And then uh, we're going to play a game of Gwent. Uh, to further this big city player's quest here and try to win a unique card from him. That is what we are going to do. So let me exit this building and um, we'll just uh, follow the dotted line. Try not to get killed. And uh, whoa, what the? What's this all about? What's going on here? I was not expecting this. What's going on? Heart removed. Embers where the eyes should be. Uh -oh. Mouth burned with formaldehyde. Here we go. Familiar sight. Here we Ender go. Letter. You sought a servant of the eternal fire, yet you were blinded by its flame. It wasn't Nathaniel. Damn it. <sighs> so we killed the wrong man. All the shite. We killed the wrong man. Uh, I think it said we received a letter. I thought it did. Oh, quest item. Letter found on a murder victim's body. You were looking for a servant of the eternal fire, but its flames blinded you, concerned citizen. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't see a quest get updated. Um, does that mean we failed a quest? Uh, no. No, I guess not. Um, I mean that that quest is is completed. Whoa, what was that quest called? What the heck was that quest called? I don't remember what it was called, and I don't think I'm gonna see it. Just you know, I think it was called Cardinal Sins. Yeah, this is it. So um, that quest is completed. I guess that was our hint other than this blatant text right here that tells us that uh, we killed the wrong person. Yeah, right here. Sadly, those Nathaniel was guilty of many sins. Serial killing was not among them. Sometime after his death, Geralt happened across the body of another victim, one mutilated in an all too familiar way. This time, however, the murderer had learned from experience and wiped all possible clues from his identity. The Witcher thus could not catch him, and the death of countless innocents and my Priscilla's suffering went unavenged. Yeah. It sucks, man. It sucks. Totally screwed that up. Oh, what's this? What's with this graffiti here? Oh, this is just the... Uh... The Puffins. That's all it is, advertisement for the puffins. So I guess what, this is a bad neighborhood because there's graffiti on the wall? Is that what this thing's trying to tell me? Let's go kill some monsters! Mm-hmm. You go do that. Let me know how it goes. I'll just oh. oh okay. Our dotted line disappeared for a moment there. So Dijkstra. Oh. I thought this thing was telling me to go this way. What the hell? Alright. Dijkstra is below us somehow. It's telling me to go this way now. I can't imagine how hard it must be to program pathfinding in a game. Oh, he's back down here again. Okay. Alright. Yep, let's go see Dijkstra. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're gonna go outside like that? <laughs> uh, Looks like it. Me. Don't touch me. You ran into me, lady. What's up, happened the eunuch? Yes. Okay. So, Dijkstra will probably be in here. Here he is. What's up, dude? Let's see, I'm gonna save my game before I talk to him. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? 
Well, I see you're dabbling in politics. Surprised to see you still dabbling in politics. It's quite simple, Geralt. I cannot be indifferent to Redania's fate. Call it patriotic concern. <laughs> so it's concern that compels you to bump off Radovid? I think often of the country and his future. And the more I think, the clearer it becomes that as long as Radovid sits on the throne, Redania has no future. Well, I don't disagree with him. Let's play him a game of Gwent. Ever play Gwent? I do. Gwent's like politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? If you'd rather skip this game of Gwent, click here. And if that link doesn't work for you, you could skip ahead to 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Well, let's see if we could beat this guy. Yeah, let's play. So I wanted to give a big thank you to Judge Zid. He has been giving me some really good advice on my uh, Gwent plays. So thank you very much, Judge Zid. I really do appreciate that. And hopefully I am a better Gwent player as a result of your yelling at your screen while you watch me play Gwent. And hopefully I won't make you yell this time, but I probably will. It's been a while since I played, so I may be a little rusty. I'm going to stick with my Northern Realms deck. One of these days I'll switch to another one, but uh, I have to admit it's late at night and I'm a little tired. And I want to get through this. Uh, let's see. Uh, clear weather. I like having this card in my deck. Uh, this is a pretty cool card. These two are good because of the tight bond. And this card isn't terrible, but um, it's not so exciting either. I'm tempted to trade this card in just to see if I get anything better. Um, and plus, I have a whole lot of frontline guys. So I'm going to trade him in. And instead, I got another five. But this guy has a tight bond, but isn't anybody to bond with? What are the odds that I trade this in for another... I don't know, that's a little risky. I could trade this in and end up with a card that I don't need. So I'll just, I'll just stick with this deck. We'll go with this. I don't have too many special cards. This is a nice card to have, that's for sure. So he's going first. He's going to the front line with his uh, tight bond card. So um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay, now he's going in the middle. What uh, special ability does it, what special ability does his leader have? Uh, clear any weather effects resulting from biting frost, torrential rain, or impenetrable in, 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 impenetrable fog cards in play. Okay, so he has a clear a specialty, which is good to have. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to just follow his lead. I'm afraid that if I play this, he'll scorch me or something. So let's not do anything too rash right here at the start. All right, so he's just totally mixing it up. Look, we could just follow him card for card. How stupid is that? Okay, so he's going to stay in the back row. There's nothing I can do about that. Um... Yeah, it's too bad I don't have a Scorch. If I did, well, we get rid of those two and this one. So, I guess I'll throw this up here. But I really do have a feeling he's going to Scorch those. Or throw out... Um, no, he didn't. Hmm. Or throw out uh, the... Uh, what is it? The fro Biting Frost card that negates these guys? Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried about putting so many guys up front, especially if I play this card. Just, uh, I think I feel like I'm leaving myself open to something here. Um, man, if he has the other catapult card, which I should have bought a while back. I'll have to see if I can remember where that was. That was up at Passiflora, I think. Buy another one of those. I'm gonna go here. Okay, so he's going to do a Fog card, which negates these two guys. So he's only one point ahead of me, even with the Fog card. So I don't know if it's worth using my Clear Skies. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm afraid to play this card. So what this card will do, it'll give us two points, but it will also double the strength of all unit cards in that row. So it'll really put a lot of points into this row right here. And again, I'm afraid 
that he'll scorch me. I, I don't know for sure he has a scorch, but right now I don't think he'll scorch me simply because that would also negate this card here. So... Hmm. Um... Man, I need to say something, save something for the next round, too. Man, I have all these frontline cards. Well, if he negates them, he negates them. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Biting Frost. Okay. All right. Well, that was a smart move on his part. However, I will now use my uh, Clear Sky card. Okay. Man, this is crazy. We're both using up all of our cards in this first round. Okay. Nice. That still doesn't put him ahead of me, though. Look how many... I still have way more than him. Um, so this Scorch card, it won't do anything to these guys. I don't, I don't think he could Scorch these guys, so there's no sense in playing that. I could throw this out. That'll make this a 10. But I need to save something for the next hand. Yeah, I don't want to pass, because he could... Who knows what he'll throw out, so... I am going to play this card. That doubles that to 10. I have so many points, I don't know how I could... Oh, okay, decoy. What did he take back? That was weird. For some reason, he decided to take back one of his... He... Oh, he took back the 8 catapult card. So we know, we know that he has an 8 in his hand right now. He's got that 8 and then a mystery card. We still have way more points than him. He has an 8 and another card. Is there any way he can get 60 points right now? Is there? I don't think there is. But I want to make sure I win this hand. However, I also need to make sure I win the next hand as well. Um, hmm. Do I pass? He has an 8. That'll get him to 39. And then he would need 21 points just to match me here. I don't think he's going to have enough. Of course, then he could throw out a Scorch or something. You think he would have done that already? Um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to pass. Okay, have he passed? Let's see what he does. Okay, hey, I figured he might do that. Okay, so I'm going to get another card. Yeah, that's not a good card. I don't need that. I don't need a spy card. Huh. Well, let's see if we can outlast his two cards here. Throw him out. So we know he has he has that eight. There. Oh, damn it! I was kind of hoping he'd play the other card first, so I'd know what he had. <laughs> I don't want to give him five points, so I'm going to have to throw this out. Unfortunately not using that card to its maximum advantage. Clear weather, that's it, he's out of cards, I win. Well, that was pretty easy. All right, simple as that. That worked out well. This was a risky move I made in the first round, but it paid off, so. Or maybe it wasn't risky, I don't know. Let's see what special card we get from him. Not bad. See you don't have Estorad Tyson in your deck. Here, he's yours. Wow, thanks, man. Thanks. Know anyone else I could win some cards off of? Hmm. I know an elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Scuyatel stragglers have their shanty town. Okay, cool. Quest updated. And we received the Estorad Tyson card. Let's take a look at that card. Oh, that's a good card. And it's also a Northern Realms card. Man, my Northern Realms deck is strong. So we'll throw him in there, and then I'm gonna get rid of her. Why is she even in this deck anymore? <laughs> get rid of her. I don't need her in there anymore. Next, you guys will be going. I don't leave him in there for now. This is still my strongest deck, 138, 124, and then, wow, 130, that's a pretty good deck right there. All right, 
Cool. Uh, I don't think we have anything else to talk to him about. No. Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. So long. So, our big city players quest here. Win a unique card from a member of the Scoyatel band. And if we look at our map, that quest is way down here. I'm not going to do that quest now. There's so much more stuff we could do up here. But we have some uh, low-level quests here that we need to take care of. Um, this 13, level 13 one, this level 11 one. I'm not really even sure why I'm going to rush over to take care of these, because I'm not going to get any experience for them anyway. But I think I just ba mainly want an excuse to finally take us to Skellige. So, let's do this. Let's go find a boat headed to Skellige. And, um... Yeah, we just pay this guy. He'll take us right over there. Let's see, where is this on the map? So... Yeah, we could go here, or we could go here and pay these other guys. I forget how much this guy wanted. Let's run over there and see what he wanted, and maybe we'll see... Maybe we'll check in with, um... Some of the other captains and see if we could find... A cheaper passage, maybe. We'll try that. So we'll... Scoot on over there real quick. Wee. It's not safe to go out in the streets. Well, then why are you in the streets? It's not safe. What the hell? Look at my little dotted line. Why did it have me go around that? That's weird. Granddad's sick. Okay, so this is um, the tavern or whatever where this captain is. And here he is, Captain Wolverstone. So this guy, he wants a thousand. Gotta get more coin. You so. sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so he's one option. We can go check out these other guys. I mean, I'm assuming there's other captains we could talk to, and uh, see if you know they have uh, all their teeth, and if they are. Asking for less for passage to Sky. Uh, Excuse me. Sorry, dude. My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so somewhere in this circle, looking at our mini map, we are to find a Capitan. Probably not this witch hunter. What are you looking at? Why don't you shut up? Oh, so we got a seaman, a seaman. Where is the captain? It's not up here. Could he be below deck? Hmm, locked. You want to catch it? Name's Wolverstone. Oh, this is Wolverstone's boat. Okay, so this just pointed us in the direction of Wolverstone. Hmm. Okay. Let's see um, where this is going to take us to now. So that was Wolverstone's boat. This way? Wow, where are we going? Oh, into this tavern. And we're back to Wolverstone. <laughs> okay. It's funny, I could have swore there were two boats we could look at. Yeah, there are. There's another one right here. I want to go look at this one. Oh, what the hell? I want to look at that boat. Oh, coming through. Coming through. Oh. Witcher in a hurry. Coming through. Ooh, quest over here. Look at my mini-map. Quest. Let's go check it out. Oh, a weeping woman. What's up, my lady? What happened? Islanders from Skellica. Hmm. They've taken over Crippled Cave. Uh-oh. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeeper, tossed hmm. out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday. Apparently celebrating some big loot. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Do I? Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. 
Well, how can we say no? <laughs> Look at the woman behind me. See what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Okay. New quest out on your arse. Let's check that out. Out on your arse. Get rid of the drunk Skelligers. Near crippled Kate, Geralt encountered a sobbing woman. He never had been able to walk unmoved past a, trumble, a troubled maiden, and so inquired if he could be of any help. She asked if he could go inside crippled Kate's and toss out the band of drunken Skelligers, which had taken over the establishment. Oh, this could be tricky. This could be tricky. Level 14. Uh, I'm wondering what I should use. Let's, um... Hmm. This could be tough. I don't think Axie's gonna do it. I need something for crowd control. I usually use Igni for that. Um... So yeah, let's get our Igni ready, maybe. Oh my. Sorry, mate! Gotta fill your horn elsewhere! This establishment's part of Skellige today! Hmm... Get out of here! <laughs> Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Okay, um, let's see. Be good boys and leave. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Ooh. Hey. Gents, time to go. Wow. Man, that is a good Swords, skill to have. But I prefer me trusty axe. Hey there, friend. What's the rush? I... Wow. Cool. Okay. Thanks so much. We could not have managed on our own. We're not rich. I hope this is enough. I can't take this or thanks farewell. Well, why couldn't I take it? Eh, maybe we'll... Get some good favor. Keep it. Need it more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Oh, what can I say? Geralt has a weak spot for a lovely lady. Quest completed out on your arse. Let's see if there's any uh, closing text for that. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Out on your arse. Out on your arse. Like always, Geralt successfully saved the damsel in distress. He got rid of the band of drunks and received a small purse and a grateful smile as his reward. The latter was what he prized the most. Oh, Geralt. I feel safer with you around, Mm-hmm. Yep. Geralt is awesome. Mm. Ah, 